Hi, my name is Lisa Welko. I'm a certified franchise executive with the International Franchise Association. Every week, I share a two-minute tip that I'd share with a friend, family member, or candidate that I'm working with who's exploring business ownership. If you have a question about this tip or anything in the franchise industry, please reach out. This week for the two minute tip, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the fine line between not looking at too many brands at one time, but then also not looking at too few. There's kind of a sweet spot. And usually when I'm working with someone, I'm going to present initially anywhere from four to sometimes up to eight different suggestions for you to look at. And it completely depends on you know, a myriad of different things, but a lot of it has to do with in what direction you're going. Are you going to be a full-time owner or semi-absentee owner? Um, are you going to have a partner involved? Things like that. Sometimes that'll end up giving us a broader brush and people will say, well, I want to see more. I work with about 600 different franchise brands, so it's not really about the amount that I show you. It's more about what's going to be a good fit for what you're looking for, and it doesn't mean that we can't open doors later. It just creates a lot of confusion if I show you brands that are very, very similar to each other or something that you're just kind of curious about but not really serious about. You can also find some... Sometimes when I'm working with people, it's too few. So I'll show them these brands and they say, that's the one. That's who I want to talk to. I don't really have interest in the others. And truly, as good of a job as I try to do explaining these um, options to you, it's almost too early to say, nope, that's the one. I really do want you to look at and talk to franchisors of two to three different concepts that you have some interest in and some curiosity about. And some of that is getting more franchise education, learning about the cadence of Discovery Day, starting to understand the terminology and, and using it. But it's really an education process. So please understand that when you work with me, I really do want you to make a commitment to speaking to about three franchisors before we start to narrow in. We can always open doors later to more, but that's really the best start.